technology careers are on the rise. In the spirit of finding the best opportunities in the IT industry, we will talk about the same. That is the top 10 highest paying jobs in 2019. Hey guys, I'm Shubham from Intellipath and I welcome you all to this session. So without wasting more time, let's get started. On the top of the list, we have data scientists, the most on-demand job role. From a recent report by Gartner, data scientists are highest paid professionals in the current industry. And even Indeed says the same. Because an average salary offer to a data scientist ranges around $180k per annum. And the skills required for being at the top of the industry, that is the knowledge of mathematics and programming languages such as Python, C, C++ or R. You must have enough logical and analytical competency and the knowledge of automation is must. And guys, here is a list of few tech giants majorly hiring for data scientists such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, and the list goes on. On the second number, we have the big data Hadoop developer. It is said that if you want to succeed in this world, you must study trends, right? And this is what big data does, understands the trends. Today, the data is everywhere and making good use of analytics out of the data is need of every organization to understand customers' behavior or certain business patterns to achieve growth and establish a good bond with the customer. Now let's move forward and discuss about the job role of a big data Hadoop developer. So the job role of a big data Hadoop developer majorly involves coding. And they are basically software programmers only who are adept at coming up with the design concepts used for creating extensive software applications. And most importantly, they are masters of computer procedural languages. And according to Indeed, the average salary of a Hadoop developer ranges around $139k per annum. And there is no secret that a senior Hadoop developer can earn up to $178k per annum. Moving forward, and the skill sets you need to have in order to become a Hadoop developer. First, you must have a proficiency in any backend programming language such as JavaScript, Node, and Java is must. Along with the basic knowledge in Linux administration, you must have analytical and problem solving skills. And the basic knowledge of SQL, database structures and principle will come in handy for you. And the major tech giants like Apple, Google, Amazon, Netflix, American Express are always in dire need of big data Hadoop developer. Moving forward to the next role. We have the DevOps engineer. So due to the cultural shift in the working mechanism between operations and development team in an organization led to the implementation of DevOps methodology. Hence DevOps is must for any IT organization. Now, let us understand who exactly is a DevOps engineer. So guys, the DevOps engineer understands the entire software development lifecycle along with a thorough understanding of various automation tools to develop digital CI-CD pipelines. There is no as such formal career track for becoming a DevOps engineer since they are either developers who get interested in deployment network operations or sysadmins who have a passion for scripting and coding and move into the development side where they can improve the planning of test and deployment. Either way, these are people who have pushed beyond their defined areas of competence and who have a more holistic view of their technical environments. So if we talk about salary in DevOps, according to Indeed, an average salary of a DevOps engineer ranges around $115K per annum to $130K per annum. And the skills requirement for becoming a DevOps engineer, well, you should be an excellent sysadmin and you should be able to deploy virtualization. You must have a hands-on experience in network and storage Knowledge of coding goes a long way. Understanding of automation tools and knowledge of testing comes in handy. And then companies using DevOps are basically Sony Entertainment, Walmart, Adobe, Netflix, and Amazon to name a few, right? And guys, based on my personal experience, I'm very much fascinated with DevOps. Now let's move forward. Now on the fourth number, we have data warehouse solution architect. So a data warehouse solution architect is responsible for designing data warehouse solutions and working with conventional data warehouse technologies to come up with plans that best supports a business or organization. And they are responsible for maintaining systems for keeping raw data, metadata, and other data assets secure and accessible within a greater IT infrastructure. And an average salary earned by them is around 120K per annum. Now let's move forward and discuss about their skill sets. So the skills required for this profile would be end-to-end -end data warehousing architecture from tools to middleware to data quality to orchestration software. You should have better understanding of client or server, web-based and server-side computing architectures. You must have a firm knowledge of database optimization and you should know the concepts of tuning data access queries. And the companies like AWS, that is Amazon Web Services, Oracle, Teradata, CloudEra, MarkLogic, 
are always in a dire need of professionals with these skill sets. Let's jump to our fifth one. The fifth one on our list is the Python developer. So most of you tech geeks out there must be aware that the demand for this language is rising at an extensive rate in the current industry, right? So a Python developer is responsible for developing, implementing and debugging a project and shall be able to create an application, design the framework for their code, build the tools as necessary to get the job done. It also includes the tasks of creating the websites or publish new services. And the average salary grabbed by a Python developer comes around $118k per annum. So in order to become a Python developer, you must have knowledge of at least one Python web framework like Django, etc. You should be good with mathematics and stats. You should have knowledge of ORM, that is the object relational mapper libraries, okay? And the Python fundamentals like variables, data, loops, exception handlings, modules and file handling, etc. And the knowledge of database is must. And the tech giants like Google, Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, Quora are always hiring for the Python developers. Now let's go ahead. So the sixth one is the AWS Solutions Architect. So guys, I believe you all must be aware of Amazon Web Services occupation in the current industry as it is the leader of cloud computing market and holds an accelerating amount that is the 40% of share in the global cloud computing market. So first, let us discuss about the job role of an AWS Solutions Architect. So guys, their real-time job role includes skill sets and expertise in dealing with designing AWS cloud instances that are suitable for hosting a web service or an application along with developing advanced cloud-based solutions and to migrate the existing workloads to the cloud. And if we talk about the salary, according to Indeed, the average salary grabbed by a solutions architect ranges around $116K per annum and an experienced architect can earn up to $205K per annum. And the skill sets required for this profile are like proficiency in any programming language like Java, Python, or C-sharp. You must be well-versed with networking concepts and storage and database knowledge. And of course, the basics of security will come in handy for you. And if we talk about the employment, majority of companies uses AWS like NASA, Adobe, BMW, Netflix, Tata Motors, etc. To name a few big giants, right? So now let's move forward and discuss about the seventh role that is the Salesforce architect which requires skills and knowledge across multiple development platforms where one should process enough knowledge in designing and architecting secured and robust cloud-based services or applications according to the customer's requirement using Salesforce cloud platform, right? So according to Indeed, a Salesforce solution architect earns an amount of $120K per annum and the skills required in order to become a Salesforce architect so you must have minimum three years of system implementation experience in salesforce.com preferred with a certification. You must be able to design and create underlying data structure and data flows to support the application build. You should have strong knowledge of software quality assurance best practices and methodologies. And as far as employment is concerned, demand for Salesforce skills is going to create a 3.3 million jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem by 2020. Truly exciting, isn't it? So the top companies that are with Salesforce are ClearTrip, Puma, Transamerica, KFC, HCL, and the list goes on. Now moving forward, on the number eight, we have the RPA developer. So the daily task for an RPA developer is to automate the repetitive tasks by creating the robots for any RPA platform, which is mainly developing a robotic process through coding. In a nutshell, their main responsibility is to automate the entire business process. And according to Indeed, their average salary ranges around 110k dollars per annum. And if we talk about the skills required, so the skills required to become an RPA developer, at least a year of experience in coding or scripting and development, knowledge of relational databases and SQL, experience in process analysis, design and implementation, testing or bug fixing. Strong analytical and problem solving skills will come in handy for you. And the dozens of MNCs like Cognizant, Accenture, Deloitte, Genpact, Hexaware have abundant of opportunities for RPA developers. Now on the ninth number, we have the blockchain developer. Basically, the job role of a blockchain developer is no different from a normal web developer where they have to develop the decentralized apps or dApps for short using the blockchain technology along with developing smart contracts, designing blockchain protocols and its entire network architecture. And according to Indeed, an average package grabbed by a blockchain developer ranges around 120k dollars per annum. And if we talk about skills, the skills acquired by them are like they should be able to understand the blockchain architecture, well-versed with data structures, 
You must have a knowledge of cryptography and more importantly, you should be able to develop smart contracts using languages like Solidity, Chain Code, etc. And now let's talk about a few companies using blockchain. So starting off with IBM and the largest shipping company Merz, Samsung, SAP and many more. And guys, let me tell you, according to Burning Glass Technologies, there were more than 5,743 largely full-time job openings posted that required blockchain skills in the last 12 months alone. So employment is never an issue here. Now moving forward to our last but not the least, that is the IoT developer or engineer. From 15 billion devices today, the world will see 50 billion devices connected via the Internet of Things, that is IoT, by 2020, according to a report by Cisco. That is really huge, right? Internet is a word which gives you a plethora of things to delve into, right? It has become so vast that everything you can think of is on internet. And similarly, IoT is an emerging technology which certainly has a very bright future. Nowadays, when everything is technologically driven and humans' work is being replaced by either robots or coding, IoT is all about this. You must have heard about the smart houses, smart cities, etc. And all this is possible with the technology called as Internet of Things. It is definitely the need of our. So their main role is to create a communication between the applications and physical devices. Since it is a vast field, mostly the developer or engineers are designed to work on different domains such as software programming, hardware programming, security implementation, networking, and system engineering. So in order to become an excellent IoT developer, you may need to be flexible in acquiring knowledge in multiple domains. And according to Indeed, they are expected to earn between 80k dollars to 110k dollars per annum based on their experience. So now let's move forward and discuss about the skills required in order to become an IoT developer or engineer. First comes as programming. Proficiency in any programming languages like C++, Python, etc. will come in handy for you. Next, electronics and circuits. So you must have an understanding of hardware requirements in order to connect the devices with the internet like sensors, embedded boards, Arduino, etc. Third one is that you must have a deep understanding of networking and information security. UI UX design. So you should be able to create the UI UX design because nothing sells if you can't use it, right? You should be able to create the user-friendly interfaces between devices and the consumers using material design, front-end or JavaScript or Bootstrap. All right. So next comes the mobile development. You should be able to develop Android or iOS based applications because most of the devices are communicated or managed using the mobile phones, right? That is why mobile development. Next, data analytics, which means that you should be able to examine the data obtained by Internet of Things. Last but not the least, Raspberry Pi. A hands-on with Raspberry Pi, which is basically a low-cost credit card size multi-purpose computer, which helps in various operations like requirement for creating the connections between the devices, its data analytics, development, etc. And if we talk about the industries incorporating it, so IoT devices have been widely adopted across a range of industries, including healthcare, manufacturing, automotive, retail, and building automation, just to name a few, right? So like Google, Dell, DHL, Hitachi, Amazon are a few top companies which have got IoT in place. And also, let me tell you guys that the global IoT market is expected to grow from $655.8 billion to $1.7 trillion in 2020. So, if the internet interests and excites you, then IoT is certainly meant for you. So guys, we have discussed that what are the top 10 highest paying jobs you can make your career in, right? Think wisely before going ahead with the technology and see your career rise up. Thank you so much for watching this video and giving us your precious time. Have a great day ahead.